Hey, it's Artifacts and Big Racks. I said I'd be back if I found a point. Well, I did not find a point, but I did end up finding so much stuff that I can make of it another part to this video, part two. T, T drill, and it's full. A good tip on that thing. It's got real nice napping on it. It's all heat treated. Mm. Uh, some kind of a cutter. You can see real crude. It's not an end scraper. It's got it like a cutting edge, but some really nice nap work on it. A piece of fire popped upper mercer here. It's got some work on it. As you can see right there. Look at the, you know, it's all popped out. Some kind of a tool. I think it was a preform. Or a knife. Whew. Bugs that eat you alive. There you go. <sighs> End scraper. End scraper. Uh, some kind of a blade, kind of like a Decatur blade or something. End scraper. And these were all found after I shut the camera off last time. Uh, this here, I think it was an Adena blade. I'm not quite sure. Maybe they started on it and it... I don't know. It's da a little damaged. I can't tell. It was some kind of, maybe an Adena blade, maybe. And some kind of knife, cutting tool. It's all napped right there. You can see the top of this, the high medial ridge of this knife. It's pecked, finely pecked at the top of it. Kind of neat. Black upper Mercer, some black of shock, and it's another end scraper. It's Flint Ridge material. It's also fired, and popped out. A little blade, Flint Ridge. Uniface with a high medial ridge. Just a little, little knife, little tool. Another end scraper. All right, I'll get all this off of here. Now, I wanted to address this material that I've laid out here. Look at this Flint Ridge material. So, to my right, it's all black, Kashakton, and Nelly Gray. And then to my left, it's basically. I, I, it's almost more Flint Ridge than Upper Mercer. Look at that orange and it's got orange and reds and yellows in this. Same thing. I mean, look at that material reds and yellows. It's hard to see it because it's dirty since it's in the field, but I, I think you can see it well enough. Look at that stuff. And then, this is why I really turned on the, for this next video. Look at this Flint Ridge Axe. Look at this thing. Look at the bit on this. Look at that. Mm. Biting flies. They're getting the better of me. Look at the bit on that. 
They got it packed all the way around to shape this thing. Look at that. And you flip it over and they got it all packed down so that way it's shaped on this side too. And it's like orange. <laughs> it's just off the charts. What a nice piece. What a really, really nice piece. I find more flint axes and celts than I do any other material here in Coshocton County. It was just practical. Unbelievable. Well, not too bad of a day. A couple broken points, tons of tools. It's real nice material to take back. I mean, the material's so nice. I bet you even Roy Miller would like to smack around on it a little bit and see what kind of a beautiful point he could make. But uh, for you guys that are a part of the Ohio Lithic Society, and if you're listening, Mr. Phil Love, here's some more stuff. Be heading down your way. Look at that raw material, fellas, ladies and gents, boys and girls, look at that stuff. Well, hope everybody's having a super day today. Hope everybody's staying safe and doing well. We'll be back at you.